Preload is the degree of stretch of cardiac muscle cells prior to contraction. The amount of stretch is related to the end diastolic volume. Increased return blood flow from the veins increases end diastolic volume. Cardiac muscle sarcomeres stretch and lengthen. Contraction of the cardiac muscle sarcomeres during ventricular systole provides the force to eject blood from the heart. Sarcomere length affects muscle tension and the force of contraction. An increase in muscle stretch increases tension. A more forceful contraction ejects more blood, thus increasing stroke. The relationship between preload stretch and stroke volume is known as the Frank-Starling law of the heart. The greater the preload, the greater the sarcomere stretch, the greater the stroke volume. The Frank-Starling law has limits. When cardiac muscle is overstretched, increasing ventricular filling has no significant effect on stroke volume. Contractility is the forcefulness of cardiac muscle contraction. Inotropic agents can increase or decrease contractility at any given level of stretch. Positive inotropic agents increase contractility, thereby increasing stroke volume and cardiac output. Negative inotropic agents reduce force of contraction. Positive inotropic agents include neurotransmitters, hormones, and some drugs. Certain drugs, such as calcium channel blockers and some anesthetics, are negative inotropic agents and reduce contractility. Afterload is the pressure or force that the ventricles must overcome to push open the semilunar valves and eject blood. Blood pressure in the left ventricle must overcome arterial pressure in the aorta in order to open the aortic valve. Hypertension increases aortic pressure and the left ventricle must work harder to generate the pressure required to maintain stroke volume and cardiac output. Eventually, ventricular pressure builds to overcome the elevated arterial blood pressure and blood is ejected from the heart. As afterload increases, ejection is more difficult and both stroke volume and cardiac output are diminished. The ventricles compensate for decreased cardiac output in two ways by activating feedback mechanisms that increase preload and by initiating hypertrophy in cardiac muscle cells to increase contractility.